Hey sixth grade, it's Miss Mack here, and we are going to be doing a video about observations with tools. During this video, let's remember that Miss Mack is a teacher and not a YouTuber, so try to cut me some slack, but let's follow along with the video and make sure that you're doing what I tell you to do so that you get enough practice in with the tool that we're gonna be using in this video. So remember that observations are when we're using our five senses to get information about the world. We're, we're gonna start off with our observations with sentences like I see or I hear, I feel, those sorts of things. And because we're using tools today, we're gonna use this I see a lot. So the tool that we're gonna be using at this station is called a triple beam balance. It looks like this. And you should have one with your partner. If you don't, go ahead and get a triple beam balance between you and your partner. Okay, and it's called a triple beam balance because it has three, that's where the triple comes from. Triple kind of means three times. It's three beams, one, two, three, and then these are the beams. So triple beam, and then you could probably guess that it balances things. So it's a triple beam balance. In your notebook, in the station work section, go ahead and make this chart. On one side we have the object name, and then on one side we have the mass. If at any point you need to pause this video to catch up, feel free to do so, but you should have this in your notebook. Okay, and let's move on. So how to use a triple beam balance. If you look, you can see this little white line. Right now, there's nothing on the triple beam balance, and we have it set to zeros all the way back. So it is balanced. It's telling us that it's at zero right now. So it's zero, and then it's balanced. See the lines lined up? Let's add something to this triple beam balance. Um, I'm going to add a pen, so I just have a blue pen here, and do you see how this white line over here is not balanced anymore? So we have to balance it out. I'm going to start with the ones here. I'm going to move it along. I'm going to move it up to one gram, two grams. See, it's not moving over here, so I'm going to push it up more, maybe to three. It's not moving. Let's just skip to maybe like five. Ooh, do you see? I went too far, so I have to go back. Let's go to 4.5 maybe. I'm gonna let it balance a little bit. That's really close. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it could be a little bit more maybe. And this triple beam balance is really good because it's it can line up and it's pretty quick maybe a little bit more and sometimes this is really slow okay mm. let's go back to 4.5 this up a little bit so that you don't have to watch this boring process of it bouncing out. There we go. That's pretty close. Right now it's at about 4.5. So I'm going to come over here and in your notebook we're going to write pen and you can write blue pen if you want and then the mass of it which a triple beam balance measures mass or how much stuff is inside of it. It is 4.5 grams, so G for grams. Make sure you have this G here, or else we don't know what you're talking about. And then the G stands for grams. Okay, make sure you have that. I'm gonna come over here, and we're gonna do another object. I think I might add a, pen, a pencil to this. So I added a pencil, and why don't you, on your triple, on your triple beam balance, add a blue pen and a pencil, or maybe just two pens, and let's do this one together. So I'm gonna reset it to zero, 
I know that that it's not zero, obviously. And I'm trying to balance this out. So let's see. It's not really moving. Well, that moved a little bit there. Oh, is it 10? Mm, too far. So I'm going to go back. And you should be doing this along with me. Mm, not quite far enough. So let's go 9.5. Sometimes this is really slow. And that seems to be really close. So let's put 9.5. I'm going to set this back to zero. And then we have a pen and a pencil on here. So we're going to write pen and pencil plus pencil. And this is 9.5. And remember, we want to put grams, 9.5 grams. So you should have this in your notebook. Now, I want you to try placing your own objects on here. Let's take the pen and the pencil off. Pick your own objects to measure the mass of and balance it out. See how many objects you can get done before the station is complete. Just a note that this is the ones. So we have eight, nine, 10 grams. But if it's more than 10 grams, we want to move this to 10, right? So this is 10, and then we have 11, 12, 13, 14, right? Because it's four plus the 10. Now, if it's more than 110, we're gonna move this 100. So it's 100, and then we're gonna have 100 plus one, two, three, four, and that would be 105 grams. So play around with it a little bit. Make sure that after every object, you set this back to zero, just so that the next person and the next object can have a clean start. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Mr. Waka will be around to help you.